We're beginning tonight in Washington, where a crucial hearing in the 2020 election interference case is set to get underway in a matter of hours. And while Donald Trump himself is not expected to attend, his behavior will be at the center of things, because Judge Tanya Chutkin will hear arguments about a proposed protective order that would limit what Trump can do with the evidence. The judge will consider those arguments while she is surrounded physically by U.S. Marshals. That new security detail was retained after the former president complained about her on his social media site. It's a sad state of affairs to see a judge have to have what looks like now maybe a full-time security detail. NBC News reported that this was spotted even as she was inside her own courthouse grabbing coffee in the cafeteria. That's where we are today. And, and look, um, we have to extend the threat concern to, of course, witnesses who are already being targeted by Trump and his cohorts and the prosecutors, of course, and the jury, of course, the many jurors, all of this in a high threat environment. Complained again about her, more like railed against her. And reminder, she was confirmed to the bench unanimously. Meanwhile, the special counsel's office has proposed January 2nd, 2024, as a trial date in the case, though some experts think that might be a little optimistic. This is the special counsel right out of the a box saying, we're ready on January 2nd. So now when the defense comes back with, we'll be ready on January 2nd, 2025, you know, the judge is going to balance the, the scale and then come up with a more reasonable time period. Trump's team has one week to respond. Then Judge Chutkin will set an official trial date before the end of this month. While down in the state of Florida, Trump and his co-defendant, Walt Nauda, pleaded not guilty earlier today to additional charges in the classified documents case. Carlos de Oliveira, the other co-defendant, was unable to enter a plea. Are you ready for why? Because his lawyer didn't fill out the notice with the court, I got questions about that one. And in Michigan, nine alleged fake electors were arraigned earlier today. While the fake electors plot is a key part of Jack Smith's D.C. indictment, the federal one, these were state charges. All nine defendants entered not guilty pleas via Zoom.